Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and today we're going to talk about the most exciting speaker release that I can remember ever, ever happening. The Focal Canta Number no. 2. Look at this speaker. It comes with re removable grills that are fabulous magnetic grills, but they designed it to look just unbelievable without grills. I mean, I... Every customer that comes in, and specifically um, the significant others that come in, they fall in love with the looks of the speaker. And it's nice to fall in love with the looks, but the reason to buy the speaker is because of performance. I don't know what to, here, let me just go through it with you. First of all, they designed a new tweeter for the speaker. Now, this Focal is known for using beryllium. They're the pioneers of using beryllium. You're going to find some companies that claim to use beryllium recently, and I happen to know that there's a couple of them that are bullshitting and they don't tell you because they're mixing beryllium with some other materials. Using beryllium in its pure form is very, very difficult. When I was at the factory in France, it was done in one huge clean room by one employee who was wearing a spacesuit. It was like being at NASA. It is not something that is done easily because the, the I'm going to touch this. This is a beryllium dome. This thing is 25 microns thick. Very difficult to work with. It is a quarter of the thickness of a, of a hair, a human hair. I don't want to step on that because... I can't get another one. The reason that beryllium is so cool, we're gonna show you a graph right now. Switch to the graph. And it's gonna show you the response time of beryllium compared to aluminum and titanium. You're gonna see the response time of beryllium is a, a, a half or even a third of other materials. That means it starts and stops faster. That means you get less bite, you get less sibilance, you get air that goes on forever, but because of the other cool things they do, you don't get sibilance. What's the other things they do? Pour on. Around the edge of the tweeter, they use a special suspension. I don't know if you know this, but tweeters can actually degrade over time because their suspensions can degrade and become hard. Pour on does not do that. It's a DuPont material, and there's a couple things that happen it lowers the resonant frequency of the tweeter. That means it doesn't break up. And so by doing so, they don't have to do any tricks in the crossover to eliminate that resonance and get rid of the problem. Crossovers can be your enemy. And what Focal has done in all of their driver designs is make their crossovers less oppressive. And you can see that easily by looking at the specifications. This speaker is about 92 dB efficient. It requires about half the amount of power compared to other competitive speakers in its class. That means you can use it with a 30 watt tube amp and it will rock your world. Solid state amps, even if they're not big ballsy amps, they will make the speaker just come alive. And that's because of engineering. So, Pour on suspension, gets rid of the resonant frequency. By doing that, you make the crossover simpler, and that means it's less oppressive. And then we go on to the other drivers. This is Flax. You know that uh, Focal is famous for bringing uh, Kevlar drivers to the market many, many years ago when they were making car drivers. See, this is what you gotta know. When you buy a speaker from company B, Company B is buying drivers from companies like Focal. So that means that the driver company is making their profit margin and selling the drivers to this other company that gets the cabinets made and they assemble things. Focal does everything in-house. Everything that's here is done in-house. The drivers are made by Focal. The cabinets are made by Focal. That's why you get so much more for your money. So, Focal came up with Kevlar years ago, and Kevlar is amazing because it's a woven material and it doesn't break up. But here's a secret. The best material for making cones is actually paper, at least sonically, because paper sounds natural. But paper has problems. 
it breaks up. So over all of these years, I've seen every manufacturer try all kinds of stuff. They paint them, they uh, form them with other stuff, they put ripples in them, they do all this stuff, they use doping on them to try to get paper to keep from breaking up, but it always breaks up. So Focal wanted to come up with an entirely new way to make drivers, and that's what flax is. What is it? Flax is a natural material. It looks like a long wheat grass. And what they're able to do with it is a couple things. They're able to weave it where it is a material that looks like Kevlar, but it doesn't sound like Kevlar. It sounds like paper, but then it's super, super stiff. And the mass is like nothing. But the other cool thing about it is it's very, very controllable. So even though both of these cones look similar, they're completely different. They're thicker, one is thicker than each other. Because again, remember what I told you, this six and a half inch driver might look like a six and a half inch driver they use in other speakers. They make 250 different drivers. So they can design this driver by making the cone just the way they want. They can change the way the magnets charged. They can change the number of voice coil windings to make the driver behave naturally the way it's supposed to behave. By doing that, you make the crossover less oppressive and then your amplifier is happier. Flax is amazing. I tried to take a video of it. I tried to kind of sneak it. They said, don't. I said, okay. So then I tried to take a picture of it. They said, don't. They wouldn't let me do anything because it's a, it's a proprietary process and it's an amazing process. I don't want to step on that dome. If I step on that dome, I had to scream to get that thing out of them. You know, beryllium is like 50 times more expensive than gold is, and it took some talking to get my hands on that. All right, what next? The cabinet. No parallel walls inside the cabinet. Very, very slick engineering. They came up with a new way to make the cabinet. It is a sheet. It, it, I, they explained it to me. Frankly, I don't quite understand it. Just know this. The cabinet does not resonate. It has no parallel walls. And the way they designed it, they wanted to come up with a speaker cabinet that would give you unbelievable bottom end from a cabinet that is petite so this thing doesn't overtake the room. So they want to give you Sopra 3 base without Sopra 3 size. And I'm telling you, they did it. The speaker has two base ports, one in the back, which really loads the room real well. You don't have to worry about getting it too close to the wall. Don't get nervous about that. I don't know why people think that you can't do that. And then it's got a port in the front. You get unbelievable bass, and because there's two ports, there's no chuffing. So there's no bass port noise. Look, oh, and then lastly, this is a new type of sheet molded compound that they use for the front baffle. Again, they wanted to create something that was completely dead and inert. This is real engineering. This is an unbelievable speaker. On the back of the speaker, you're gonna see we have our exclusive AHA LS noise killer that we include for customers. It has nothing to do with the speaker needing that. It has to do with helping you if you have a problem in your room or if you have a solid state amp that is a, a little bit bitey on top. We include those for no charge from people that buy their stuff from us because we think you should have it. It's just another way to fine tune your room and the response going into the room without darkening things. So, Kanta 2, give us a call, go to our website, come into our beautiful 10,000 square foot store. Nobody here works on commission. I promise you, we will treat your system like it's our system. Thanks.